Hey guys, Tarp here bringing you a two today. We are on crossing in the woods. I have today spawning in the north, we've got Iran with Soviets who's straight away gone for NKBD. Team with him is Dirty Starter, not Dirty Finisher. Clearly a parody of that name though. Playing as Soviets with combined arms, airborne troops and garden motor. I'm not sure who this is. I look through some of their other names. And I, re I recognize one of them. But that also could have been them impersonating somebody else as well, you know. Anyway. From the south we've got the Lucky HD. With us here. Straight away going for joint operations. And Mixwell with OKW who has Elite Armored. Breakthrough and Overwatch. In terms of rankings. Um, over here. Uh, oh, going on. Where are they? They're on 90. Duty starter 140. Are these guys Maybe not. The lucky uh, 50. And Mixwell 130. Maximum start for Dirty Starter. That penal's back the other way. Going for a late entry A1 style. It is on the side of the net with the OKW player. So it should work pretty well. But they haven't gone for a Kugel. Damage with those combat engineers. Out of the building, it's out of the arc of the machine gun, but now it's to retreat through us. Reloading though. I think the Green Deer maybe could have flanked if he kept running, but don't know if it would have been that good. Oh boy, Sturmpire is dead. Oops. Guessing that's maybe in 3A1. Mixwell going for the rebuild on that. Oh boy. Stempire rebuy. Around. Uh, there's a few options. Gonna go for another penal. Try to skin around the side of the machine gun. Back here to try and handle this. We have more conscripts at our disposal. I get off to the side. Successful, but whittled down a bit. Merges into the combat engineers and they pop the flame upgrade. Does not have rifle grenades ticked yet. Good, good merge. Good merge. Three kills so far for the M3A1. Tech now for Mixwell. He should have had his tech truck out on the field a lot earlier than this. Supply half truck is in action. Standing by for setting of command post. This should have been like on. This should be done by now. So he's massively mistimed this. Unless he's going mechanized, but it's still even then, so you can see how much fuel he has. He's still mistimed it for mechanized. What he goes for? Ready to the vehicle. Okay. Yeah, he's he's horribly missed on that. Really, really bad. Looking for a wipe here. Doesn't get it against the conscripts. Got some guards coming out now for dirty starter. Upgrading them with the LMGs. Healing up. Both Axis players are shearing it at this stage. Something down a little bit. While 
ourselves is happening. Easy territory for Iran on this left hand side of the map. I think this is the right call though, just blobbing up like crazy for Mixwell, because if he tries to split apart too much, the M301 will dice him up. So he's going to come in for a 2 on 1 against Dirty Starter. It's also a decent idea. Just got to make sure you don't run your whole blob into the machine gun. So he's maybe going to go for a bit of a split. Maybe go down onto the cutoff. Empire's getting close on the guards. Still Empire's coming in now. Bit of a flank cooking. It's a full retreat. I think everything here healthy enough for duty starter. Shouldn't get wiped. Even with the water. Ooh, not if the gunner keeps dying though. Oh boy. Oh my goodness. So such bad luck there. He just kept killing the man who was running with the gun, slowing down the escape of that. And he ends up dying. Really unfortunate for Dirty Starter. I think that was still at five men when he got started the retreat. But just like the death loop on the Maxim, so punishing. Ends up turning it over. Really, I mean, it's just so unfortunate that happened. Okay, he's gone for a Commissar, using the healing on it, does mean delayed healing at the base. Also picked up a second combat engineer, got to double time the build on the tier 3. Yeah, 2-2-2 two, two, two on the field for Lucky, not particularly early or anything though. Bad reactions, I think he could have got a PTRX volley in there, yeah, there he goes now. He's in the build for Dirty Starter. In spite of power building tier 3, he's building a sniper now instead of a light vehicle at this timing. A little unusual. Maybe kissing on the build, but not here yet. He's gone for two machine guns. They're going to be pretty well countered by that sniper though. Good dodge on the rifle mate. Merging away. 2-2-2 two, two, two is working pretty well here. No anti-tank grenades for Dirty Starter, but here comes the T-70. I think 2-2-2 two, two, two spotted it coming. Backs away quite quickly. Big old blob coming in from the side. The sniper's actually a little bit compromised here. Let's see how fast he reacts. He was trying to get into cover. Nice uh, boosting up the performance. Sniper retreating. Blob eventually uh, shut on its tracks. Stopped on its tracks rather. Maybe turn this over. No, nope. it's away with it. I just blob on blob action there, but Haran's the one who seems to be coming out ahead. It's not having any healing for a sniper outside of the commissar though. Starts up an SU-76, which is a unusual choice. Given that Mixworld doesn't have a light vehicle at all. And the Allies are so far ahead in terms of fuel. Doesn't seem necessary in this particular instance. The sweeper drop one of his TRS. Just picks up with the conscripts, that's interesting. Probably not a good idea. Did it? No, got it with his guards. Looked like it was with the conscripts. Don't want the one weapon side of a conscript to be tied up with PTRS, ideally. It's too low value. Compared to seven men. This is a bad retreat. Maybe the T-70 can weaken them up a bit. Oof. 
Does survive though, does survive the M3. One though, goes down on the other side. Looks like we're getting, uh, getting the job done there. Which one he's using? I think they've got different uh, icons, probably. Snuck under a bit of pressure here. Can he be cover though? He plays it safe, just retreats. Opportunity is out in the water though, they are dying very quickly. Axis somehow though have managed to wrestle control a large portion of the map. Got these shred pans headquarters covering the uh, cutoffs here. Very strange that Iran went for this issue seems to read on and understand it because if he just put down tier 4 instead he would be getting cheaper reinforcements on his penals right about now and he could build a real tank you know a real tank and maybe even like a Kashusha thereafter don't understand the issue series 6 it's just just memeing at this point probably advancing here Forces away the Rakesan. I'm reclaiming a good chunk of the map now. Axis though, trying to make moves down the middle. Kissing is healthy again. He does have tier 4 up. So now you can start to see some 7 man conscripts popping shortly. Pushing up on the T-70 though. Oh, he's dropping fast on those guards. He gets the merge off though. Couple shots slowing down this 222. T-70 takes a shot as well. He used to try and branch off, go to the edge, but taking one shot like that's no longer really safe to do so anymore. Gonna rebuild the machine gun, that's interesting. I thought maybe just like a, this would have been fine. Something extra to force back the 222 and they're going to be medium tanks on the field here shortly. Don't need one anyway. Because this barge can maybe clear off the machine gun as well. Behind cover. Okay, manages to pick off the maximum out the back but retreats to the incendiary grenades. Oh, finds the T... 70, okay, he's probing. There's a little kitten back there. The pack was a little bit far off. I think that's the right choice not to chase there, too risky. Meanwhile, Stempo is sweeping up a lot of mines. Oh, grenade. Nasty stuff into the water there. Coming out with the blob again, Iran. Wow, look at that. The crew's here, the machine gun's back here. Crazy spread. Packbo forcing back the T70. I don't think a lander's shot, but. Okay, he's gonna go around the side. This time he gets hit, but he's looking to force away this machine gun. Rifle made good connection too. Let's strips out. Taking a lot of damage. Oh boy. Ober's dead. How? I should have just been a late retreat. Like really, there's not much of an excuse. Don't really I don't see any mines that trigger anything. Just a flat out late retreat. Speaking of, combat engineers are in a bit of trouble here. The 222 chasing, hoping for the kill. Yeah, it was a pretty much ideal position to stop chasing with the uh, 2 as well. Too risky to go in any further. Easily could be as this. Like, anyway. So we can see that's not quite the case. 
Let's have a look at the KD right now. We're on doing very, very well. Do you start? I mean, that's not too bad for conscripts at this stage. P4 about to pop out for Lucky. And P4 in the build for Mixfell also. There's an interesting bulletins here. LEFH Vet. Pant the Vet. Don't see those too often. So you might. For a second of the shoe mine. Okay, got coming in from the side. up on the pack, doesn't quite get a shot through on the T-70, and yeah, without a Ziss, do you start, it really can't do much here, and he's been bleeding so much it's delayed the production of his first tank. Get squad wiped here, people's chasing. Missing a lot of shots. Could have been a wipe there. Run does have a T-34 on his side. Okay, Trying to run into position here. Oh boy. Maxim dead in the middle. That was Mixwell, so it was the OKW Maxim. Before he's going in. He's giving a lot of respect to Dirty Starter. There's a tank about to pop out here shortly. Panzer Force here doing very well against the Allies. Fuel cache just completed by Iran. Close, close. Some uh, decent hits with the 85. Damage as it's chased. Yeah, I'm a little bit surprised Mixwell. He has locked into Overwatch. He hasn't gone for any like Jaeger like sneak ins trying to snipe it off with the G43 upgrade. Quite a lot of manpower now, Mixwell. Team's kind of converging in the center at the moment. All four players getting involved. Who's coming back in? T3045. Extended fighting through the middle. Really warring over the central victory point. Gosh, get wiped in the process though. Greedy is going to survive. T3045 getting very low. So is the T70. Pops the blitz going for the chase. There is a button waiting around the corner for him though. So a bit of a close call on the end. How it's a built now by Lucky. Going for a base barrage. Zero kills so far. Not a bad timing. Do start to have a few squads retreating about now. Uh, you know, kiting back a little bit, still applying some bleeds. Forcing this to chase. Eventually. Stops Mixwell. Turns him back. Zero kills for the Howie Ops first barrage, eh? Not the best start. Second fuel cache for Bayeran. That's a little bit strange. Usually, once you get to around this phase of the game, you don't need the fuel as much anymore. Maybe you just serve going for munitions. 
Start spamming that anti tank. Oh, watch. Haven't seen. I don't. Yeah, okay. I was about to say, haven't seen any recon mode so far from the T70 that I'm aware of. He's using it now, and wow. Second howitzer from Lucky. You got any mines down guarding this? Gotta make sure you got a few mines down in this area. Otherwise, you're asking for trouble. But the double Soviet team don't, don't have any like bombing runs or anything to knock those Howies out easily, so. As long as they guard them with some mines, it should be alright. Right to the after getting the snare off. Oh, T7 getting low. So do the guards. The soft retreating. That means they get the uh, favorable retreat path. Don't have to go past their green blob. Make some spinning around for the green blob. Does manage to get a decent amount of suppression in before the gunner starts dying. Pushed up a bit more. Oh, big Katusha! Now, how are you into the base? There's six kills, pretty solid. Couple. Soviet artillery is reloaded Spots. and awaiting a target. Nearly going down to that caddy. There's just some vehicle crew appears out the back now to start a pretty good idea, actually. Some munitions to burn. Pretty even on the victory points, just a small lead for the allies right now. Oh boy, conscripts wiped in base from the Howie fire. Four kills, but... Looks like a lot of those are medics, so... We must protect our HQ. I can't believe... Not entirely accurate numbers. Oof, we nearly got the stern pies there. Oh, we're in a close range how the sniper is in a bit of trouble. Oh, that's Mixwell who's gone for a howitzer as well. <laughs> okay. That was unexpected. Three howitzers on the Axis side now. Guns brought in, forcing back the T-34. Oh, they knock it out too. Really... Good connections there. Unfortunate for Iran, I thought it was going to survive for sure. 45 rolling through, but he's going to come into the uh, danger zone here. Going to take a pass from the anti-tank planes. There's trouble. We're going to need to invest in some anti-air now, the allies. This is a lot of bad anti-tank damage. We're coming back in and the Rakit and the T-3045 now is in major trouble. But he's gonna survive. The T-Gun D crew, I think that was VET-3 AT. That's oh, nearly dead, the maximum D crews. Oh! A bit of extra speed down the road. Oh, and the, the plane split their focus. One of them went after the SU. Maybe that would have been the kill on T-3045 otherwise. Shusha going in, nearly knocks out the Rakitin. Oh, it does knock it out, in fact. Is that a creeping brush? No, it's just two Kachushas. Weapon, though. Probably just did all the way back here as well, okay. Crew appears out the back. Only one squad now for Dirty Starter. They're getting decrewed again, though. They're around coming in from the side. 19 kills on the sniper so far. Just going in. I lost vision on them there. Access and control of two VPs right now. They are behind, though. Interesting Overwatch is ready to go for a run, just needs the opportunity. Oh, 
Strange Howie Barrage. Really short range ones here from Mixwell. You may know that was one of my strategies. I'd like driving real close with my priest and then try and squad wipes. But priests, you know, it's got decent AOE. Much better chance of getting that still wipe, it felt like. Oof. Tree got launched. Okay, Kachusha and another T-34 for do so. I suppose he can use secure mode. So, it's kind of making up for his lack of capping right now. He's doing that through the middle. s 35 is going after the Howie kill, yeah. He was coming in, Green was from the other side. Wow, I'm shocked he got a Faust off there. C76 making some moves. Grenadier is getting wiped. S35. Some good hits through the middle. Oh, and now in some trouble. No, the Rakit misses. Crucial shot. Oh, when the P4 misses as well, that SU-85, incredibly lucky. Oh, counter barrage from one of the howitzers. Maybe even both of them going after the Kachusha there. Knocked out. Cheeky stuff there from Lucky. And combined up with the recon plane as well, providing some vision. Pack in a compromised position here though, it gets decrewed. P4 is low, he's got a stuck in the boot. I don't know how he's going to be able to hold on to this pack. Remember the earlier you halt the barrage on your houses, the faster their cooldown will be. Maybe they start their cooldown. So I think there's nothing in the zone, like after they got the Kachusha kill, just cancel it, you know? They've got the planes from Mixwell. And now the P4 is going after the T34. Motion for the ram. Cooks the engine. Oh, and then goes down through a kitten from the side. Wow. T7 is still in here. Looking for the D crew. P4 is coming in though. Oh, strip comes in from the other side. Ooh, not good, not good for the allies. Some big losses there. They didn't get much in return. I suppose if they can still steal away this pack, that would be good, but it doesn't look very really likely right now. Run did finally get some anti air. To shoot down those planes. They did a lot of damage there. Shot down the recon plane very quickly, though. And now he's barraging the quad, it looks like. Our territory is falling into enemy yeah. hands. Pretty much his pop cap limit, though. He's got a big army. Started it down to 19. Gonna kill off the pack here, doesn't want Lucky getting it again. Kachusha onto the Shreer and. Oh, no, going more after the house here, it's interesting. Just pure rocket saturation here. Hoping for the kill. Is not enough. It's down to quarter health. Oh, what was the Stuck doing so far for this? Uh, hello? Let's feed and get to 
says this year 85 right now is lucky. We're making a bit of a move here. Almost every tank from the Axis on this side. Started backing away though. Looks out of focus sight mode. Turn to some Overwatch and that stops that attack in its tracks. A recon plane coming in for Lucky, but quite on the field, they're not going to last long anymore. He's how he's doing. One kill with Vet 2, that's interesting. Must have been the one that got the kill on the Chusha. Six on the other. Well, still not recruited this, or not completely destroyed at one stage. Okay, notice that. If you win them for this, you see a six barrage or something. Base at the moment, this house is not really landing on anything. I was looking for the capture again in the middle. Overall, pretty similar army sizes between the two teams. Maskatusha going after one of the Howies. It's the D crew. Can't get the kill though. That creeping barrage as well. Reconnaissance flight set to go. This one of us. There's a lot of mediums on the Axis side and they're getting busy now. They knock out a Panzer IV. Or a T-34 rather. MP4s from Mixwell. They're going after the SU-85. It's pretty well vetted though. Oh, need to take Overwatch for this. Oh, maybe the allies can turn this one around. Great for that T-34. T-34-5 now looking for some revenge. Strip dead. Oh, P-4 abandoned. We can't paint up again from the lucky. Coming to kill this off, and this is the first shot, though. Not a lot of infantry support for that push for the Axis, but the starter maybe always staying as welcome with that T-34, who is sniped off. For a compromised position itself there, some dangerous games being played. Oh, there's a Pack 43 over here. Maybe not for long though. Oh, he came back in with the P4. And the SU-85 polishes him off. He crews it now, Satchel. I think you need more than one Satchel to kill this though. Oh, he's got munitions for another one. Uh, run out of munis. That didn't last too long for the lucky. Ends up being quite bad for the Axis. They lost a lot of tanks there. Do you start of those back down to 20 population? We also lost a lot. You can repeat your tanks up. You don't have to <laughs> come in them constantly on half health. So these must be creeping barrage, right? Just a creeping barrage. There's any missions for the other one, actually. Killing the medics from the mid bunker. So I'm straight out the back here from the howitzer. Just barraging the 
Hounds from Gene Roll there, hoping for the D crew. This one's still al alive, just hasn't been recruited this whole time. Two or three minutes it's been decrewed now. And the eyes really turning up the pressure, pushing onto this area, looking for the triple cap. This there misses first shot though, misses second shot. Was he trying to target the decrewed machine gun? And the Axis push forward to knock out the T-34. The C-76 coming in from the side. They got my vehicle on the Stug as well. And that is, oh, briefly was considering backing around the wrong way. Uh, over here. Knocks out one P-4. My vehicle plane still knows where the Stug is. I was surprised he uh, retrieved that hard. Maybe it's because he lost his sniper. And he comes back in with the Stug. Yeah. You know that the recon plane's up there. There's no doing sneaky hiding stuff like that. You stay in range of the Allied tanks, they're gonna kill you. So we were kicking completely destroyed here. Yeah? Still 196 points left for the Axis though. The French Katusha! Oh! Retreat there, maybe uh, backfiring slightly. Is that getting wiped? Axis do sneak their way onto that left side VP. Fresh squad of guards coming out for Dirty Starter. He's rebuilt his army quite quickly. It wasn't too long ago, he was about 20. Back in action now. Really comes down to these Katusha rises, I think, at the moment for the Allies. Go and watch. Sector assault, rather. They target the SU 85, not the SU 76. Enemy forces are capturing our supplies. Quite slowly shooting down the planes. Key stuff here from the Panzer IV. Issue 85 is in trouble. Oh, misses the kill shot. Bounces the shot from the Issue 76, though. Might allow the P4 to escape. A little bit lucky on the Issue 85. Don't know if the P4 would have died to that Issue 76 shot bouncing. Not have to say on that amount of health. And now from Mixwell, is he going to just go berserk and dive in? There's a lot of low health Soviet tanks out the back here. He's got eyes on the area with the Jaeger lights up here too. Prioritize the vehicles. So he's going after this Katusha, but runs into the SUA-5 as this combo and gets cold feet, decides to back away. If he came over to this side of the map instead of going after the Katusha, could have done a lot of damage, a lot of things on one shot over here. And he, had, he had vision, he had the Jaeger lights there spotting. No conscripts with anti saccharides on that side of the map. Seems 
but I really like the uh, creeping barrages. This one doesn't end up hitting almost anything though. Shobas from Mixwell. Pick up plane up from Lucky again. These planes are not giving them very good value though with that quad. the Kachusha again. It's the decoy on the Maxim. Big Soviet push coming up to the site. They want their triple cap again, the Soviets. Polish off the decoy Maxim as well. Only one Stug for Lucky is not very well equipped in the anti-tank department. This could backfire on them quite badly. Teammate Panther though coming in from the side with the assist. S-35 a little bit far back for Iran here. There's another shot on Panther quite low now. Is that the green light finally? Run has a crazy manpower float, but so close to his population limit. Don't have many options to spend it with. Except for maybe some muni caches. Barrage working out pretty well here. Wow, crazy blitzing P4. Again, he's coming in with these tanks very low in health. This is rather strange from Duty Starter. It's 35 in a bit of trouble here. Trying to get south facing in the right direction. Deterred from the chase with the SU 85 from Duty Starter coming in from the side. The recruit that Howie at some stage didn't notice, but it's already up there. One, three kills. This one's got 25. We end up getting decreed, I don't think. Solid. And again, managed to sneak over here, get a decap going, slowing down the drain against the Axis. It's a decent idea, but the composition is just not that strong on the Axis at the moment. Maybe if they can isolate the Soviet team, get a bit of a two-on-one going, they can do some damage. But in an even fight, it doesn't seem to be going too well for them. This 35 is just outranging them badly. On this map. Making a bit of a push here. T-Gun gets low, guard staying on it. S-35 looking for the Stug kill. Katusha coming in as well. Pack is resilient, but eventually goes down. They're going after the S-35 out of the back, but the Stug does still end up dying. On scripts, didn't manage to get an AT grenade off. S-35 dies, but Panther's getting slammed with some big damage, and now the AT grenade's coming in. Polishes the Panther off. Too much anti-tank there from the Allies. Unable to escape after that. Oh, what's he doing with this? Okay, it's just, they're quitting. Understandable. Whew, three howitzers. You don't see that too often. But uh, probably for a good reason. They were okay. I, this one did okay. I don't think any of the others were that impressive. I think if you're going three howitzers, you know, if you're barraging here, you might as 
you know, out, after the Katusha kill, you might as well just start barraging the base and hope for some base structure kills. Got that many houses. Try to kill off the tier fours or something like that. Usually I'm not a big fan of that, but I think in this instance it could have been okay. But yeah, just the tank plays of the Axis a little bit clumsy. Giving away a little bit too much in those fights generally. A lot of dives this game, kind of on both sides. Ill-advised, coming in low health as well. Getting your tank picked off when you should have just backed it away for repairs. All things considered, though, you know, the game wasn't really dominated by the anti-tank Overwatcher run, spending most of his munitions on Katusha creeping barrages. We only saw this used once, which is unusual. The plane's well handled by that one quad after their first activation. They did, I think they did result in two tank kills, though. They did all right for Mixwell. But yeah, just a uh, clean play, I think, all round from the Allies. And with the superior indirect fire as well. Just such a good map for East 85 this one. At least you've got an elephant or some answer to them. Yeah, you, they'll just chip you away from downtown and eventually grind you out. Well, anyway, guys, wrap on that. If you like what game to be cast by me, details are in the video description below. Otherwise, I'll catch you all for the next thrilling installment. Goodbye and good luck.